has just been a very violent strike that took place in Khan Yunis East area. The Palestinian civil defense is in the meantime trying to help as much people as they can. Right in front of me, just now, a few seconds ago, there was a child that was hit and his family was rushing to the emergency department because they were extremely worried about his safety. And in every incident that takes place, children are affected, either killed or injured or left with a lifetime scars because of losing their family member. And this is the situation and this is how the, it unf unfolds for the people in Gaza. The discussions are between the uh, mediators and the American administration and the Israeli government. And if one key party to those negotiations is not present, that means that there is a misrepresentation in there, and that means that they will not be as effective and they will not be as successful. Of course, Hamas has been commenting on the situation that has been unfolding, the bombardments, the, the, uh, what they call the massacre in at tabain school, the assassination of Ismail Haniyeh and all of those things together. And they have been saying that they are not likely to accept any more negotiation over the situation and that they are open to see a, a timetable, a schedule with all the details as to how can the agreements that were proposed by Mr. Biden and the American administration be translated into action. Everyone, including Israel and the American, uh, the American administration, is anticipating a round of violence, a round of war, given that Iran has been insisting to retaliate for the killing of Haniya on its sovereign land. No much expected, and I think we are expecting also an escalation that can, that's going to be abrupt and that is going to be also regional.